So I'm in LA that day. I'm going down a hill on my bicycle. So I'm going down that hill. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like things are gonna fing get better. Birds are chirping and the sun is shining. Going down a hill. When I go down a hill on a bicycle, do I pretend my bicycle is a motorcycle? Of course. <laughs> do I make the noises with my mouth? <laughs> and as I'm going down this hill, suddenly my handlebar snapped in two. Now, thank you. Uh, I don't know if any of you have ever experienced the absolute thrill ride that is your handlebar becoming handlebars. <laughs> but it is so jarring. I didn't think, oh, I'm gonna die. All I thought was, ah, should have worn a helmet today. <laughs> now, there was a specific reason I wasn't wearing a helmet, brothers and sisters, and that is this giant, stupid f***ing head of mine. This is an eight and a half sized hat. Why is it more tense now <laughs> than when I revealed my jizz killed my granddad? <laughs> and that f***ing hurts, quite frankly. I'm very self-conscious about that. I've, all I've ever wanted is to be able to wear baseball caps. And it took until December of 2016 for them to make one in my size. It took America electing Donald Trump for someone in the garment industry to go, holy sh we're gonna need bigger hats. <laughs> The helmet industry has not caught up to me, unfortunately. I, um, I, uh, I, I can't wear helmets. I used to just jam one on my head and go for it. And then I was told, I used to live behind a hospital in 2011, and I used to cycle through the uh, car park as a uh, shortcut. And as I was cycling through the car park, a doctor yelled at me, hey, I need to talk to you. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever been catcalled by a medical <laughs> professional before, but you don't enter the conversation thinking, ooh, I bet I'm healthy. <laughs> I genuinely thought he was gonna walk up to me and say, do you know you have cancer on your back that's visible to the naked eye? <laughs> and he walked up and he went, you see how that helmet is appointed on your head? If you make impact with almost anything, it is not going to protect your skull, it is gonna smash your skull. And I just went, wait, so I shouldn't wear a helmet? And then he went, well, it's your body. And then he went back to his cigarette. <laughs>